Hey guys, uh, this is a short video on how to do a calibration or a test on our new cardiac monitor defibrillator device, which is Zor R Series Plus. And um, this information was shared to me by uh, the ambulance educator Josh King. I have um, given a bit of orientation, you know, how to do the test and everything to the staff who has attended um, ALS practical testing with me. So uh, this video is particularly for the ones who hasn't attended uh, the testing with myself. So um, yeah, and as you, as you can see, you know, there is an X symbol, which means this device is actually due for a calibration or a test. And uh, so what we do, and before we go how to do the test, I'll just go through the other parts. We have two cables um, attached to this device. This cable is where the pads are attached. Um, and this cable is where the three lead, sorry, sorry, one. The three lead ECG is attached. So the pad, uh, you know, if you look at the adult pad, we can actually do defibrillation, cardioversion, gives a CPR feedback and non-invasive pacing and 3 d ECG monitoring. And I have given a bit of uh, you know, orientation with the test pads for those who have already attended the ALS testing with me. So this is how the other end of you know, pad looks like. You can see. So this goes into, into there, Something like this. Make sure this end. Why it's not easy to single-handedly. So that's it's. It's been clicked into like this. So when you actually um, do a test, there is a test lead which is attached to the cable here. So uh, which need to be connected to here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just push that in. Right, pushing that in. So this is on the test mode now. And now what we do is we just turn this on, the device on, which will give you will take you to the AED mode and now I'm selecting the manual mode to do the testing and if uh, if you want to select the joules but now when the AED mode it just works as a normal AED so um, as an ALS nurse if you want to change the shock uh, you know the joules or the electricity so you have to actually select the manual mode and also for testing you have to select the manual mode so I'm clicking the manual mode here I'm clicking here to confirm and it's already selected in you know, a 200 joules so I'm gonna this um, test lead actually tolerates 30 joules so I have to select 30 joules here I'm selecting 30 joules yep I have selected 30 joules and now I have to charge it so I'm clicking the charge button so it's charging now and now it's ready for 30 joules I'm gonna click the shop you can see that X uh, being turning to green tick after I press the shop yeah so it's been tested successfully and there will be recorded the test being done with the shop reason yeah so yeah it will stop by itself or we have to actually click record it to stop it but uh, but it has actually stopped by itself so make sure this is um, this is the pin, this is a paper loading session. You can actually click here, and you can see the paper being loaded there. More papers are there. ECG papers are there in the in the drawer where the computer is, the second drawer. And please uh, familiarize yourself on how to load the paper because if it runs out, an emergency it won't be easy if you don't know it. And and then it's successfully tested so I'm just gonna turn this off 
Right, thanks for watching.